Hi, it's Carrie. I've got some new animals on my farm today. Come and help me feed them. Princess, our farm cat. She has sharp teeth and claws and is a great hunter. And here's her two kittens. Wild geese pair for life and associate in flocks called gaggles. Simple nests are built on the ground. The eggs are incubated for about a month by the hen while the gander stands guard. The downy young fend for themselves almost at once but remain with their parents during the first summer. Brahmin cow, bull and calf. They come from India. In India, cows are sacred and deeply respected. The Hindu people respect cows for their gentle nature and they also represent strength. There are nearly 45 million cows in India. Honouring the cow inspires in people the virtues of gentleness and connects them with nature. Cows are honoured, garlanded and given special feed at festivals all over India. The Hereford cow, bull and two calves. They are a reddish brown colour with a white face and white markings. They come from Herefordshire in England, which is known for its long, luxuriant grasses. Herefords were first introduced into the United States in 1817. Sarah is going to feed this young calf now. The merino ram, ewe and baby lambs. Merinos originated in Spain. They have wonderfully fine wool which is used in garment making. They are well adapted to semi-arid climates and to nomadic pasturing. We have lots of them in Australia. If you look at the fine wool fibres in a merino fleece, they are beautifully crimped. The boa nanny goat and her kid. It is a South African breed of goat. The name boa means farmer. These goats were bred originally by Africana farmers who crossed various European and Indian breeds with breeds bred by the indigenous people. <laughs> Matthew's bought some fresh fruit and vegetables in for the goats and lambs and some more grass and plants for the sheep. And here's some extra hay for the cows. The Pintabian horse family. Stallion, mare and foal. The Pintabian horse has 99% Arabian blood. They have a small muzzle 
with large nostrils and big white set eyes. Matthew brings some food in for the horses. Pigs. They have upturned snouts and a curly tail. Pigs are even toed ungulates, which means they are a hoofed animal whose weight is spread evenly by more than one toe. Pigs are also known as hogs and swine. There are four toes on each foot with the two larger middle toes used by the pig for walking. Their feet are known as trotters. Baby pigs have 28 teeth that fall out when it's about 12 months old and are replaced with a stronger 44 teeth that adult pigs have. Subscribe and like if you like farm animals. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.